The multi-talented Anjali Ranadive. She's a singer-songwriter. You probably know her as Anjali World. And of course, because we're Sports Illustrated, we have a, a sort of natural curiosity about your father, Vivek Ranadive, right. who's the owner of the Sacramento <laughs> Kings. Okay, first of all, Vivek was your coach, your basketball coach, when yes. you were a child. Even Malcolm Gladwell wrote about this. <laughs> what was your dad like as a coach? He was, you know, he's super, I mean, first of all, he's incredibly intelligent. So um, one thing that was really, really cool about it is that uh, he actually, like, I don't even know how he did this, but he literally developed equations to figure out how to, really to figure out how to win. So he would pretty much put, he would have us do full court press the whole game. And we're like seventh grade girls, you know? Because <laughs> you were so, 12 at this point. Yeah, he's developing and formulas. he's literally like writing out these formulas. We're like, what is going on? And it's crazy because it worked. We had a team full of girls who most of us had actually never played basketball before. Like hadn't even touched the basketball, you know? Um, and we'd be up 25-0 in the first quarter. Like just from, yeah, so it, was, it was really, really amazing to have him as a coach. I mean, he too was really new to basketball at the time. Um, but just using his, you know, of course, his tech knowledge and just um, his brilliance, like he kind of figured out how to win with just a group of, of girls who hadn't really played before. So it was, it was pretty amazing. In a weird way, your dad's been criticized for some of that stuff on the right. NBA level for right. being out of his element. Right. What would you say to the, to, to the critics of your father since he's been owner of the Sacramento Kings? I mean, you know, first of all, everything takes time. I truly believe that his, you know, out-of-the-box thinking is going to lead to amazing things. You know, it's a process. It's definitely going to pay off in the future, you know? When I say DeMarcus Cousins, what's your reaction? I mean, I know everyone has kind of a, you know, preconceived kind of, people, you know, definitely, you know, feel a certain type of way about him. But um, he's, you know, the, to me, the best center in the league. And I think he's a great player. I just think, you know, a decision had to be made. And you know, hopefully it'll pay off in the future. Yeah. So, Being yeah. around your dad, what was his feelings the day before that trade and what were his feelings the day after? What was what was he like? Uh, definitely, definitely sad. You know, it's, yeah. DeMarcus has been with the team for, you know, eight years. And um, so, yeah, of course, you know, everyone was kind of, there was definitely, a, you know, a sadness and it was a bittersweet moment for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, with, you know, it definitely opened up doors for people like Willie and for a lot of the younger guys. And so, you know, we'll see what happens, but I think we're definitely moving forward. When you are performing in Sacramento, I know sometimes you'll perform for the crowd. Right. What is that like for you? It's the biggest adrenaline rush ever. It's incredible. Um, definitely, I've been blessed to like, be able to perform, you know, in front of so many people at such an amazing place. Um, and it just means so much more being able to perform in Sacramento, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a crazy feeling for sure. I love performing out here though. We were just talking about Webster Hall. New York City. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. You know, I imagine that your father, because he comes from the tech world, yeah. brilliant guy, he probably runs into a lot of people outside the world of basketball, not just coaches and GMs that he has relationships with. Have you ever heard him or watched him have a basketball conversation with someone that you never thought he would have a basketball conversation with. Yeah, I mean, I guess like Drake is one person for sure. Drake. Yeah, yeah. Who's Drake rooting for at the time? Was, was um, it the Raptors of still? Of course, All yeah, right. of course. You know, uh, I feel like he has like a lot of friends on, you know, on different teams, of course. I know he's like super close with Steph and um, really close to DeMarcus too. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of cool, you know, to, to hear them. You know, talking about I wonder <laughs> talking who about was basketball. picking whose brain there. Right, Your exactly. Father picking Drake's brain or the other Probably way. A little bit of both, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe he goes yeah. for Drake. We know. You yeah, know, you know. Sometimes <laughs> that Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank really you. appreciate you being here and sharing what it's like to be the daughter of the owner of an NBA franchise. Really cool. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs>